Just as the offensive line in football protects their quarterback from getting sacked, farmers and ranchers provide the first line of protection for the U.S. cattle, dairy, and swine herds against foot and mouth disease, or FMD. I'm Dr. John Moss, a livestock producer and veterinarian from Northern California. These dual roles in the livestock industry give me a distinct perspective on the important responsibility farmers and ranchers have in defending against FMD. The proactive steps we take every day to protect our animals also helps protect the security of our country's readily available milk and meat supply. In my 40 years in the livestock industry, I've observed simple but effective protection game plans which include careful observation, control of access to the farm, containment of potential threats, and communication with animal health authorities. Here's how the play unfolds. It starts with careful observation. As a veterinarian, I frequently talk to farmers and ranchers about understanding healthy animal characteristics. This helps them quickly spot any signs of foot and mouth disease or other serious illness and notify a veterinarian at the first suspicious sign. Second, farmers and ranchers control access to their livestock and reduce potential points of contamination. We keep track of visitors to our ranch and carefully disinfect their shoes or boots. Tires, equipment, and other items that could spread disease also are carefully disinfected. People who have traveled outside of the United States are not allowed to visit farms or ranches for five days upon their return. Visitors who have traveled internationally are often asked to remain in a vehicle or wear supplied footwear and outerwear as extra protection from exposure. FMD is not a human health concern, but people can transmit it to animals, and more than a hundred countries worldwide are not yet FMD free. Next. We isolate potential threats. When new livestock are purchased, the animals are kept away from the rest of the herd for 10 days. This allows us to identify any potential illness issues and address them without exposing all of the herd. Finally, producers must communicate clearly. Lines of communication are already in place to ensure a streamlined flow of information among state and federal agencies, farmers and ranchers, processors, retailers and consumers when suspicious symptoms are observed. The speed and accuracy of communication will help quickly identify and contain foot and mouth disease should it reach the United States. If an outbreak in the U.S. did occur, the first case would most likely be observed by a farmer or rancher who would begin the communication process by contacting a veterinarian. The accredited veterinarian would then contact their state veterinarians. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, or APHIS, would work with the state veterinarian to collect samples from potentially infected animals and send them for testing. While waiting for test results, the state veterinarian might begin establishing a quarantine zone of 5 to 10 miles around the farm where the disease was first identified. Animals within the zone would not be able to leave their farm or ranch. Because the disease can easily spread to other animals via shoes, tires, or other common sources, traffic in and out of the zone would be restricted while neighboring farms are closely monitored for signs of infection. Farmers and ranchers would continue their protective actions of careful observation, containment of potential threats, control of access to their farm or ranch, and ongoing and frequent communication. Farmers and ranchers with infected animals may be faced with the difficult decision to humanely euthanize animals. As they spend decades building their operation, this can be an emotionally devastating action, but one that is necessary to control spread of the disease. The well-being of the animal is also a consideration as the painful blisters can prevent animals from eating and growth can be permanently affected. If such a need arises, veterinary experts have spent substantial time creating standards for humane euthanasia. U.S. livestock producers' commitment to protecting their herds from foot and mouth disease has helped the United States remain free of this devastating disease for 80 years. After all, the best defense is a good offense.